So welcome back to week four of the SSPL. We didn't have a match in week three because based on the schedule we had a free week, therefore there was no need for us to have a match since there's an odd number of competitors in the league. But this week we're up against the Philadelphia Gangars and just as recap, our team consists of Mew, Mega Metagross, Gengar, Fortress, Infernape, Hydragon, Chinchino, Quillfish, Diancie, Swallow, Cradilly, and Golurk. And our opponent, the Philadelphia Gengars, has Gengar, Rotom Wash, Mega Pinsir, Hydragon, Infernape, Mamoswine, Drapion, Gramble, Tangrowth, Miltank, Rhydon, and Swallow. Now I can definitely see some threats in the Gengar, some really annoying stall with Rotom Wash. I can definitely predict some some probably painful returns and quick attacks from the Mega Pinsir. Infernape's always a problem. And Mill Tank is just gonna be really annoying. So this is gonna be an interesting battle and hopefully we'll redeem ourselves from the so far losing streak. So I'll see you guys in the battle. So here we are in the battle, and it looks like he brought the Gengar, Pinsir, which I'm scared of, Rhydon, Rotom Washed, Hangrowth, and Hydragon. Now, what's interesting about this is he said um, before we started that Rhydon couldn't learn one of the moves that he put on it. So I kind of knew that was coming. I don't see anything that I think he would start off with. I don't know, I'll just go with... Should I... Hmm... I... God. He's just gonna predict me to a lead, and he'll probably... He'll just predict me a lead with, um... Fortress will probably lead with Rhydon, probably with Fire Blast or High Dragon. Either way, an Icy Wind would hurt both. Yep, there we go. And he has nothing that can resist Fairy, but screw it. Actually, no, I'm just gonna go for it. Why not? Because I don't know what he would switch out into. Or he could just be going for like a Dark Pulse, not expecting Dazzling Gleam, I'm not sure. Come on, go for something. Obviously, I just like quickly went for my decision, not really thinking about it at all. And I kind of I made some <laughs> layout changes. I extended the webcam size to fit the whole thing and so it's not as zoomed in as it was before and then I have the logo up top instead of in the little center of the ball come in um start the timer why not just so this battle doesn't take forever. <sighs> okay, aside from Dazzling Glim, what could he switch into? I mean, anything really. And none of these options are bad. What? I guess Rotom technically. Or is this? Oh. Oh, he stayed in. Wonder what he was going for. I doubt he'd want to sack it off in the first turn. I don't know. Maybe he didn't expect Dazzling Gloom and was going to go for, like, Dark Pulse. I need to figure out the lining up of this on here because you can't see the name and then this part's kind of just here. <laughs> I'm going to figure that out. Come on. 
Now what resists Dazzling Gleam? Like, the only- I can't really think of anything that really resists Fairy other than Fire and Steel and Poison. So I could kind of see the Gengar? I don't know. Or Pinsir. <laughs> okay. And to take a flying move and mess with this thing, I'm just gonna go to Fortress. Okay. <laughs> okay then. <laughs> this is gonna be fun. Now I don't have anything for U-turn or Volt Switch, so that's kind of restrictive right now. But I don't think I'd really need it for this team. I guess maybe to get away from this pincer, but I don't know. I don't think I would. Oh, Mecha Dino? Okay. Ooh, no, he does have a poison type to get rid of the toxic spikes. That's bad. Um, then half his team is in the air, so spikes isn't really necessary. You have done your job. Yeah, Fortress, you've done your job. Um, I could... No, that's risking a surf. So I'm gonna go into Steven because you can't really hit me. Did that miss? Oh, I just don't see it. Huh. Interesting. I'm just gonna screw with them now. Because this allows for some extra hits. Of course, I'm weak to earthquakes. That was probably not the best idea. Uh... Yeah, it's just going to go immediately down to Earthquake. Let's just Bullet Punch. Be predictable. <laughs> Actually, I don't I don't lose anything from from substituting really. Other than 25% of my health, but who cares? <laughs> it's 25%. Come on. Yeah, I can either bullet punch, hit him for super effective damage. I'm gonna get earthquake. Yes, I am. Okay, so there's his plan there. Yeah, I'm bullet punching. Oh. Oh, God. Ooh, that's a problem. Hopefully that's not too detrimental. Hopefully. I, I don't know. It shouldn't be too much of a problem? I'm not sure. Already like seven minutes into this, jeez. No phone, don't buzz bad. Put you in my pocket. Oh wait. Oops. <laughs> yeah, let's save all that for now. An alarm was gonna go off if I didn't <laughs> disable it just now, and that would've been bad for your video. Okay, what are you gonna go for? Do something. 180, 150 seconds left. Actually, right before this battle was playing Pokent tournament and it came out as of this recording two days ago on the 18th and I have developed an obsession. I've just been like only using Lucario though so far I've only gotten it up to like level 20 but it's really fun and I suck at it but it's fun. Okay so Rotom Wash. Icy Wind is resisted. I lowered his speed though, that's good. Um, what are your weaknesses? Grass? Dang it, gotta switch. Uh, dang it. Yes. Burn the 
thing that only uses setup moves. Smart. I could set up spikes for this thing, but priority number one is rapid spin. Yeah. That would have been bad if I didn't get that off. Boop. Boop. My Wii U was just like going dark and I had to push, the, push on the gamepad to stop that from happening. Okay. Good. I had to sack off the fortress, but it's fine. Because I can HP grass this thing and hopefully lower it pretty well. So what you gonna go for? Come on. See, I'm like pre-planning. That's just because I feel like I have somewhat of an initiative, even though I have one less Pokemon. I just have ideas for each of his Pokemon on his team. Okay. What was, how much did that do? 50%. Ah, Leftovers and unburned. Okay. He's whittling me down. Swamp Beast. For resistance. That was pretty good damage, even though it was a crit, but still. Pretty good damage. I don't know why I'm hesitating. Just use Red Skull. Use it. Oh. <laughs> Focus Sash. Which is purely... He didn't bring the Granville this time, though, which is good. Focus Sash is purely because of Fairy types. The four times weakness, you kind of need something for that. Wow, I never realized how diverse movesets were and how useful each of my team members actually is because I mainly just gave them moves based off of their weaknesses, but this is actually coming in handy. Because <laughs> I always forget about the fact that steel is super effective against... Is it? It's rock, because ground is good against steel. I always forget about the fact that steel is good against rock, but, I mean, it's, it's rock. Bad typing. <laughs> it used to be really resistant stuff. Now there's a rock ice type that exists. <laughs> Sorry, Aurorus. Come on. Gengar, okay. Cheshire. <laughs> ah, dang it. How did I not see that coming? Well, I mean. <laughs> Poipole! Go, Poipole! Yeah! Come on! <laughs> Wait. Ooh. Mm. Could switch into pincer. Is Mega Pincer normal flying? Am I being stupid? I actually need to look this up because I legitimately don't know. Oh my god, Pincer is bug, so there's no way it would be normal flying. <laughs> Mega Pincer, bug flying, yeah, I'm free to shadow ball anything on this team. Oh, I so should have icy winded, but it didn't matter. <laughs> That's nice. That makes me feel good. I can shadow ball anything on his team, but that Rotom Wash thing is a problem. I feel like I was I was thinking that the Mega Pincer was going to be the problem here, but I feel like the Rotom Wash is going to be the thing that just brings me down. Look, unless I can switch game out and Hidden Power Grass.
Dang it. That happened. Um, you're really weak to rock. Man, I wish you could get some magic. I think you can, I just don't have it. You also very well resist fighting. Um, set up on it. Oh, ow. That was bad. This is this is not gonna end well. Oh, I was really banking on the Gengar. No. Man, I suck. Why didn't I think of that? Okay. I'm totally forgetting poison and bug. Is there anything with poison and bug? Bug type. I don't care if I'm running out of time. Okay. Gen 6 onward. Nope. Oh. Poison resists bug, that's it. So let's just waterfall. <laughs> GG. Good game to the Philadelphia Gengars, but I am never going to win one. I felt like I was really close, but you know, they just played better. So, thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Support the Philadelphia Gangars and everyone in this league. And I'll see you all later.